It's with a heavy heart and a great sense of urgency that I'd like to report to you about what is presently transpiring on the Temple Mount in Jerusalem, which of course has a very direct effect on the Jewish people and on every person in the world. The Temple Mount is the heart and soul of the entire world, the one place on earth that God chose to manifest his presence throughout the adventure of human history. But for the past several weeks, there has been wanton destruction of actual remnants of the Holy Temple on the Temple Mount, and it has not been reported at all. Ostensibly for the purpose of laying down electrical cables, a trench has been dug on the Temple Mount over 1,300 feet long, and in some places, several feet deep. And this trench now has cut through the very heart of the area that's universally recognized as having been the women's court in the Second Temple. Now all the while, the Muslim walk, again, under the guise of the necessity of replacing the aged electrical system, providing electricity for the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the Muslim walk has been digging in the area where it is known to Israeli archaeologists and to all those temple scholars where the temple stood without any supervision whatsoever, without any, any care taken so as not to damage any of the remnants of the temple. To make matters worse, Israeli archaeologists who are concerned about this wanton destruction are denied access and the ability to supervise over this. And bear in mind that when any sensitive archaeological work is done anywhere in the world, it's done with a fine tooth comb and with a toothbrush on a very, very sensitive level. Here, heavy machinery, tractors and bulldozers have been brought in and without any consideration whatsoever for any damage that might be, might be caused, they have begun to do this tremendous heavy work digging into the very heart of the Temple Mount. Now, ironically, even though the Muslim Waqf, the trust that is empowered by the government of Israel since 1967 to administer the day-to-day -day functions on the Temple Mount, even though that body, speaking in the name of Islam, denies the fact that there ever was a temple on the Temple Mount and denies that they are in a position now where they're doing any damage, now, recently, because of the illegal excavation that they are doing, because of the damaging digging that they are doing, they have actually revealed for the first time in living memory, for the first time in history, since the destruction of the Second Temple, they have exposed a section of the original wall of the Temple. And when they understood the ramifications and the implications of what they did, they began to try to destroy this as well, under the, under the watchful eyes of some Jews who were present in the area and who began to try to photograph this event. When a non-Jewish policeman, a Druzy policeman serving in the Israel police on the mountain, began to understand this purposeful destruction, he tried bodily to prevent it. But his efforts were thwarted, however noble they were, by the Muslim waqf. Why the waqf is given free hand to totally destroy the remnants of the Holy Temple. Why is this? The fact that this has not been reported on world media does not surprise me at all, because what's important to the Jewish people is judged with a different standard than, that's, than that which is important to the rest of the world. Thus, when the Taliban were destroying the large statues of Buddha in Afghanistan, the entire world issued a tremendous outcry and the United Nations got involved. But here, when we're talking about the very Holy of Holies, talking about the Holy Temple itself, there seems to be barely an audible peep. That is really the sad reality of the situation. And when you look at these photographs of this knife that's being cut into the very heart of the Temple Mount. We see here, for example, in one particular photograph, carved stones that un undoubtedly are part of the Second Temple complex, just strewn in a pile of rubble. In one spot, several feet down, a tractor dug down, and this is what was unearthed. The entire Temple Mount the past few weeks has looked like one large war zone, unearthed, upended everywhere, rubble.